Oh, I knew that one too. Taya, test your buzzer, please. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work on my reflexes. Uh, oh my god. Are those buzzers? So awesome. Cooks, competitors, and culinary connoisseurs. Don't just stand there. Come up to the front. <laughs> <laughs> shows. I watch them all the time on TV, but like, I've never been on a game show, so who knows? Oh. oh. <laughs> Congratulations. You're the lucky eight who get the chance to play our very first game of Kitchenary. I love game shows. I always wanted to be on one, so this is it. <laughs> Where we provide a culinary definition and you give us the correct culinary word. Oh, no. That's right. Your first challenge of the night is not about your palate. It's a test of your brain. Oh, man. And if you prove you're the smartest person in this kitchen, you will earn more than bragging rights. You'll get a place in the gallery. Oh. While everybody else cooks for their lives. Oh, God. It would be amazing to go up on that balcony and watch my fellow cooks go at it. The kitchenary rules are simple. We'll ask a food-related question, and the first person to buzz in gets a chance to answer. If you're correct, you get 10 points. But if you're wrong, you lose five points. And the other cooks have a chance to buzz in and steal. I've had lots of fun trivia nights with my friends as an adult, and competition is fierce. I, I want to win. Andrew, you won the mystery box in the last episode, so you get an advantage. We're giving you a 20-point head start oh, wow. over everyone else. <laughs> my mother and grandmother are from Syria, and when they came over, they watched game shows all the time trying to learn the language. We'd be shouting at the screen and playing along, and it was a lot of fun. Now, are you all ready to play some kitchenery? Yes, yes chef. chef! Then, let's get started. Okay. okay. First question. Okay. Look inside this tree's pods, and you will find a sweet, tangy pulp that's a staple of Mexican cuisine. Andrew. Tamarind? Tamarind is correct. Oh, oh my gosh. This metal container is used to pressurize liquids with nitrous oxide to create foams. A siphon? Andre, you are correct. You have 10 points. This tiny summer squash is shaped like a flying saucer and it's eaten with its skin on. Andy. Acorn squash? Incorrect. Patty pan squash. Correct, 10 points. This tropical rootstock is often mistaken for ginger, but its sharp citrusy qualities lend a unique flavor to Thai cooking. Andrew. Galangal? That is correct. I'm not fast yeah. enough. Native to Asia and weighing up to four kilograms each, this fruit is the largest in the citrus family. Jackfruit? Incorrect. Durian? Incorrect. Wrong. Pomelo? Andre, you are correct. Oh, wow. Good job. <laughs> this long and narrow green leaf is known as the vanilla of Southeast Asia. Pandan leaf. That's correct. I feel like I have a lot of proof in this one because everyone kind of totes me as the little food knowledge nerd. This chemical is extracted from brown seaweed and used in molecular gastronomy for spherification. Agar agar. That's wrong. No. Yeah. <laughs> Sodium alginate. That is correct. Sodium alginate. I'm the guy at the board game night that everybody sees and goes, oh gosh, this is for reals. <laughs> You are now on the board. Why can't I get on the board? Finishing a dish by pouring alcohol over it and setting it on fire is commonly known as this term. Uh, flambe. Correct. This potentially dangerous kitchen tool, it's used to create thin, uniform slices. What is a mandolin? That is correct. So frustrating. Like, that's pretty fast, right? This starchy, tuberous root is used regularly in Caribbean cuisine and is poisonous if eaten raw. <sighs> Taro root. I'm afraid that's incorrect. <gasps> Andre. The Aki. I'm afraid not. Cassava root. That is correct. Yes. How many times do I have to hit it? Oh, I knew that one too. Taya, test your buzzer, please. It's working. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll work on my reflexes. <laughs> Let's do a recap of the scores. Andrew, 35 points. Christopher and May are tied with 30. Andre, 15 points. Taya, you have zero. Jeremy and Marissa, you are tied with negative five. And Andy has a whopping minus 10. <laughs> but there's still plenty of questions. Don't give up hope. Next question. This hand-operated hinged device works to flatten balls of masa dough in two rounds. Pasta roller? Wrong. Tortilla press? That is correct. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> a French method for baking food in a folded parchment paper pouch. Oh, en papillot. Correct. Coriander, ginger, nigella, fenugreek, and chili peppers are among the spices commonly found in this Ethiopian blend. Oh. Curry? Incorrect. <laughs> the answer that we were looking for is Burberry. Oh, did not know that. No. Did not know no. idea. This is the process of combining two liquids that have a natural tendency to separate. An emulsion? That is correct, Andy. This type of sauce is made by caramelizing sugar and then deglazing the pan with vinegar. Gastric. That is correct. I'm coming. All right. Andrew is still in the lead, barely, with 35 points. Hot on his heels is Christopher and May, both with 30 points each. Andy, 20 points. Andre, you have 15 points. Jeremy, you have zero. Taya and Marissa are tied with minus five points. Honestly, this competition is fierce, and I need to knock it out of the park. Next question. A cooking technique where meat is periodically coated with its own juices, fat, or other marinades to keep it moist. Basting. Well done, 10 points. Here we go, momentum is changing. I'm taking this. A culinary word for roasted domestic pigeon. Marissa. Squab. That is correct. This Italian salad, it's made with onions, tomatoes, and pieces of soaked stale bread. Marissa. Panzanella. Correct. In order to preserve their bright color, this technique cooks green vegetables in salted boiling water and then shocks them in ice water. Oh, whoa. Marissa, what's your answer? Blanching. Correct for 10 points. Look at that, it's me again. I'm out of the hole making my little comeback. Next question. If you top a dish with breadcrumbs and cheese and brown it under the broiler, what two-word phrase can you attach to the name of your dish? Al forno. That is wrong, Marissa. Au gratin. Au gratin. Yes, Christopher, that is right. A Filipino dish made by stewing meat or vegetables in vinegar, garlic, and soy sauce. I finally get to the buzzer and it's a Filipino food question. I will be disowned if I get this question wrong. Adobo. Well done, 10 points. Yes. Next question. This flaming Greek cheese dish is doused in ouzo before being set on fire. Andy. Saganaki. Oh. Andy, that is correct. Saganaki for 10 points. Okay. It's time to check on the scores. Andy, Christopher, you're in the lead with 40 points. Andrew, close behind with 35 points. May, 30 points. Marissa, 20 points. Andre, 15 points. Jeremy, 10. And Taya, minus five points. And now, for the final round. Oh, I'm going for the immunity of hard. I'm super competitive. I don't like to lose. I want this. I'm going for this win. Hopefully, I get up on that balcony because I haven't spent a single moment up there yet. I was brought up on game shows, so I'm ready to win this. Here's the next question. This handy gadget turns carrots and zucchini into long, thin vegetable noodles. Andrew. A spiralizer. That is correct. Do not let my foot off the gas pedal. I'm not stopping. Often called a Mexican husk tomato, this small green fruit is used to make moles and salsas. Tomatillo. That is correct. Uh. Andrew, taking the lead. I don't know if we can catch this guy. These pretty pointed pods add a licorice-like aroma to braised dishes. Star anise. Correct, for 10 oh. points. 
This rich white mother sauce is made with a light meat or fish stock and thickened with a roux. Oh, the That is correct. This tangy potato chip flavor originated in Canada. Ah, Marissa. Ketchup. That's right. And now, for the final question. Forget the grocery store. If you go on a walk in the woods and pick up some wild plants and herbs, what are you doing? Foraging. Christopher, foraging is correct for 10 points. And the winner at 65 points is Andrew. Yay, Andrew. Thank you. Good job, buddy. It was really good. <laughs> Congratulations, Andrew. You are the Kitchenary Champion and have earned a ticket to the gallery. Yes. I think I deserve to be up on that balcony, without a doubt. My grandmother would be proud. <laughs>